Right hey friends, today we're going to do some roast beef. It's not any old roast beef, it kind of is any old roast beef. It's going to be a piece of beef that's, well, nowadays it's known as the salmon cut. In the old days, before like massive supermarkets and what have you, it was known as the butcher's cut and that's because people used to go to the local butcher and when they were chopping up a cow, when they got to the salmon cut, that went in their pocket and they took it home or they gave it to their friends and that's a fact. This is the salmon cut. It's just a piece of topside beef. It is a single muscle. Let's get out of its bag. I was in the wholesalers and I was looking at their roasting beef section, as I often do, and I saw it and I just knew exactly what it was. I said to the butcher, is that a salmon cut? And he went, yes it is. I said, not bad for a joiner, but well up. Right, it is fresh out of the bag. Just give us a second, friends. Right friends, so you can see that it's out of its bag, we've got this beautiful piece of meat and we can really appreciate it. It's one muscle off the top side, it's got a good layer of fat down one side, that is beautiful. Because it's one muscle, there's going to be no sort of interconnecting tissue, there's going to be no gristle or anything like that that can make it chewy. And it's an incredibly prized piece of beef. This is about 2.8 kilos, so obviously it's just us three boys, so let's just chop it in half, we'll freeze half. Don't worry, I'm not a sushi chef. But look at that. Look at that. There you go. Right. That's a beautiful piece of beef. We'll bang that half on plate. We're going to eat this one. I'm going to take the string off because I don't see why it's tied. I'm trying not to cut myself while I'm doing it. Slight bit of silver skin there, I would say. Just for a bit. Just so you know, I've never actually done, I've never even seen, well, I have seen, but I've never had a piece of salmon cut before. Arguably, that's silver skin, but I ain't bothered. I think it's going to be fine. Let's season it. All we're going to do, again, apparently it's a very beefy, beefy tasting piece of beef. <laughs> what is it with me and beefy tasting pieces of beef? Um, it does taste of beef. <laughs> Right, seriously, some pieces of beef just taste like rubbish, don't they? They don't actually taste proper beefy. This apparently tastes really beefy. I'm going to put extra salt on the fat cap. Even on the ends. And now all I'm going to do is bang it in here. Are you bringing it me? Yep. Come with me. <coughs> Shut up. Right, we've got some taters going on down there. Because it only takes, this, I'm going to put it in here with the uh, carrots and parsnip. Because I don't season them. That's what real cooking sand looks like when one and a half is just thrown into it. I've put it in there because there's no seasoning, so I want it to basically keep its own flavour other than the salt. So I reckon this is going to take no more than 30 minutes. I am going to check the temperature, the internal temperature. So yeah, let's go with it. We'll see what happens. I reckon it's going to be good. Um, so my idea is cook it until I feel it's cooked, then I'll take it out and rest it, and the resting time is going to be denoted by the Yorkshire pudding cooking time, because we've got to have Yorkshire puddings with our roast beef. We will see you when we get it out, probably. Yeah, cool. See you soon. Right, friends, so, believe it or not, this piece of beef has had just under one hour. And I know that it's at the correct temperature, because I've been using my probe. So, we're going to take it out, Man. Right, I'm going to take it out, wrap it up in foil, I'm going to rest it now for the time it takes my Yorkies to cook. We'll see you in 20 minutes. Right friends, so here we have this lovely salmon cut. We've got a bit of nice crispy fat on the side. Let's cut her in. Cut her in? Is that even a technical expression? Oh. So it's been resting now, look at that, you can see how it peels off as I cut it. The idea, cut it really good and thin. This, apparently, will satisfy even the most picky palate. So I'm told. I'm oh, sorry, I did a little bit of Google research, friends. Right, no one's going to complain that that's raw. No one's going to complain that that's overdone. Reason being, because that is perfect. I think we've cut enough into this, haven't we? Let's bang it on a plate and see what it looks like on a plate. I was looking at the camera then as I was cutting. Let's get in. Oh man, that is looking like some good beef. A few slices on there, look. Hang on, there's something missing. 
We need union cells. Mushroom and onion cells. Look at that. Oh man. Where's the gravy? There's the gravy. Gotta have a bit of gravy over it all. Oh, fill those wells on Yorkies. Friends. Do you know what? It's Sunday. Normally we play airsoft on a Sunday. So me and boys, we've just thought, let's go to town and have a proper, proper real Sunday dinner. And I hope you approve. The salmon cut of beef is the star of the show. Let's get in there. It's tender. Really, I've got, I'm joking. It is tender. Man, and it is juicy, isn't it, Jack? Yeah. Right, let's taste it. I've never eaten salmon cut. Obviously, as I say, it is just part of the top side. Mmm. Goodness gracious. Right, top side, sometimes, like silver side, a lot of people say it's just an average piece of beef. This is the best supposed top side I've ever had. My goodness. Mmm. Mmm. Incredibly tender, very flavourful, very nice. Friends, and not too overpriced either. In fact, quite reasonable nowadays. Friends, get yourself some salmon cut. If you can't find it in a supermarket, I'll, well, mm, just, yeah, have a look at the start of the vid where, where we show it. You'll recognise its shape immediately. But if you can't find it in a supermarket, have a word with a butcher. It can't be that hard to get nowadays because, you know, it's everything's easy to get in it. Ask your butcher. They'll get you it. Why did I poke you in tummy? Bye-bye, friends. <laughs> bye-bye. Hello, viewers. Poke your tummy. Get off me. Bye-bye, friends. Bye-bye. Enjoy the video. Cook yourself some nice beef and have a nice time. Bye-bye, friends. Bye-bye. And if you can't, go and play Airsoft because it's great.